Hey guys, welcome to Kennedy K. I'm Kennedy and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited guys for today. We are going to be showing you my baby's nursery. I'm so excited. It's been a long, I don't know why I just said this. Um, it's been a long time coming, but I'm really grateful for it and I'm so excited to show you guys because I just love our little nursery. It makes my heart happy and that's the most important thing besides making my baby's heart happy. But I think, I think he likes it. So let's get going and show you guys the nursery. Before we get going actually, I wanted to do a little bit of an update on how it has been being a mom and kind of some things that are going on right now in my life. Ace is about to turn six months right now and he is just the happiest, easygoing baby there is. Like I've just been so, so blessed. I have been very blessed. I'm very lucky. He is definitely made me want to have more kids because he's just the best little sweetheart. Other things that are kind of fun right now, we, um, he's starting to sit up, which is so fun. And it's been fun to see him progress and his personality is starting to come out. And it's just so fun to see his little laughs and smiles and goos. And he's just the best baby right now. He's also obsessed with blowing raspberries, which I don't know how much I love when it's like all quiet and all of a sudden you hear a baby going <laughs> and when it needs to be quiet, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's been so fun having him and just his cute little personality coming out. We also started introducing food, which is crazy. I can't believe it. He's like no longer just eating milk. We just started um, on, we've already tried some pumpkin and he loves pumpkin. We also have tried strawberries. He's obsessed with strawberries. He really, really, really likes strawberries. Next food we're gonna try is bananas. So, I'm doing kind of a mix right now of baby led weaning and also baby purees just to kind of see what he likes and um, see what his preferences are. Again, so fun to see his little reactions with all the food. It's such an awesome thing as a mom to like see his first time in so many things. It's just, it's, it's the best. I love it. I'll show you guys. We just got a high chair. So I'll show you the high chair. It's so fun. And Kobe Bear, my dog. Hey Bear, you wanna see my puppy? This is Kobe Bear right here. He is obsessed with the high chair because Ace likes to drop a lot of stuff. And so Kobe Bear gets lots of tears. T-R-E-A-T-S. If I say it, he's gonna want one. So, but anyway, we call them TRTs, just for short. He loves the high chair because he gets lots of TRTs. Other fun things that we have been doing, I got this chair. I don't I don't even know why I'm showing you this. It was just on the floor because we were using it to bed. But it's like a bumbo, but it's a blow up one that I can take with me all the different places, which is so nice. And Ace loves it. I was able to take it to, with me to Hawaii, which was amazing because he was able to sit on the beach and he was able to relax and be covered in his little tent. Anyway, if you're looking for a baby chair, this is only like $15 on Amazon and it was the best and you can just blow it up and you can take it with you anywhere. Easy clean. Anyway, it was great. Other things that little, um, our little family has been doing that's fun is I just started my workout program or not workout program, my workout um, teaching program thing and I love it it's been so fun it was a little bit hard to leave my baby at child watch but he now he loves it and he's like super happy and it's been good so far and hopefully it will stay good. And it's been so fun to teach and to continue to work out and move my body and still be able to do some things that I um, was able to do before I had a baby. So it's nice to kind of have me time and getting um, stronger and feeling good about myself. Other good things when it comes to being postpartum, I just kind of, I don't know. I feel like I've been really doing good. I haven't gotten mastitis for a month now, which is so great. My first five months of being postpartum, I got mastitis five times. So I ended up talking to a lactation nurse and they helped me figure out I was using some wrong parts when it came to my pump. So hopefully we never get it again because that was terrible. But thank you also guys for um, 
giving me advice on kind of mastitis stuff because I feel like that also helped. I was able to take a few things to help and um, just different techniques for things to make sure that I don't get mastitis again. And that's really, really helpful. So thank you guys so much, especially for a brand new mom. It's the best to have such a great support system here. Other things that we've been kind of doing, Chase started med school, which is so fun. He's really busy, but he's loving it. And it's very interesting. I feel like we only have like a certain amount of time where we um, can be all together as a family. I'm the kind of person that likes quality over quantity. And I feel like at this time right now, we're definitely doing quantity time. No, we're definitely doing, we have a lot more quality time, even though we don't have as much of a quantity of time, if that makes sense. We'll spend some real quality time together. We're doing really good and um, it's so nice to start kind of going down this road of med school. It's crazy. I. I try to prepare myself as much as possible, but I feel like there's some things you just can't prepare yourself for. But overall, it's been so good, and um, Chase is amazing at prioritizing his family, and um, me, and our baby, and our puppy, and we're just really, really grateful and happy where we're at right now. So, life is really good. All right, guys. Should we now go and see the, the nursery? Yeah? All right, let's go. So for probably a lot of you guys, you were thinking that when um, we watched my family's video where they came and saw the entire house and we saw the reactions, that you were gonna see the nursery. But I didn't want to show you guys yet because it's just, I want it to be its own thing because it's just my favorite little place. It's literally my favorite room in the entire house. So I'm really excited to show you guys. And if you guys haven't seen my parents or family's reaction, here's a little snippet of their reaction when we saw the nursery. Are you guys ready? Yes. All right, ready? Actually, I'm gonna go in, close your eyes. Everyone close their eyes. Close your eyes. Oh. You ready? Ready, three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh. Kennedy, it's her dog. It is so good. Oh. And if you want to see more of the reaction around the house, definitely check out that video. All right, guys, now we're going to go and see the nursery. Before we do, here are the sneak peeks of what it was like putting all the nursery together. Up at 8 a.m. We just played baby. We're doing good. But I wanted our crib. Our crib is coming today, and I wanted to get that all set up right here. Um, I'm, I'm trying to decide because I think we want crib here. We have a dresser here right now, but that's not where it's going to be. I think the dresser is going to be on this wall over here. We have so much stuff everywhere. Yeah, we have to finish the dresser. Thinking I want the crib here. And then the rocking chair over here with the dresser. Thank you. We're gonna see, we're gonna see how this fits. Here's the closet, I'm gonna give you a little update. I came to the closet yesterday and I realized when I was done doing it, it wasn't filming, so sad day. Here is all of his clothes. These are three months and up because he's three months right now at this time. I need to go through and kind of get all of the decorations and toys kind of put away. We have a bunch of toys in here. Just a few little things that, some new decorations that I want to put away. These are clothes that don't already fit him now. They're all like pretty much the newborn and just things that are too small. We have random decorations over here that are for who knows what. We have my puppy. It's a little bit of a mess. A little bit of a mess. I might need to. I need to sit down for a second. I'm sitting this comfy. This rocking chair, best purchase ever. It's so comfy. My chair is reasonably comfortable. <laughs> and it's like perfect for cuddling with your baby, feeding your baby, everything. I'm so happy we got this.
guys. This is gonna be Ace's little, it's gonna be his little bookshelf. I'm so excited, I have so many books that I wanna display inside the OCD have on little shelf, so let's put it together. Bookshelf. But I do want to paint it. I want to paint it the same color as I paint the walls in the room, which I'm thinking are green, but we'll see. All right, guys, our closet is so close to being done. It's hopefully going to be done either tonight or tomorrow. I'm so excited because this is our nursery and this is where all of my clothes, there's like hangers everywhere. It's pretty bad in here, but that's just because all of our clothes have to be in here. Like all of my clothes are stuck in the closet. They're all here just because the closet's not done yet, but it's so close. So I'm so excited to kind of get all of this stuff, put it away in a closet and then start on Ace's room too, which is going to be great. Eee! All right, guys, we are going to spray painting some shelves. I have way more shelves in the house. I'm going to go get, we have a old sheet that's back. And we're going to spray paint some green. wallpaper looks so good except except the wall is not straight so it or I maybe I didn't line it up straight enough but like there's a whole empty part right here so I'm gonna try to use little pieces and put it in there we'll see if that works or not I'm not sure Girls, if ever your husband tells you to pick up a drill, I've learned anything from TikTok. When you pick up a drill, you go every time. So then it means you're a bro. Don't ask me why. Alright guys, you ready? Let's see it! Here she is! Alright guys, I'm gonna give you a little tour. Starting off strong, right here is the changing table and little dresser. Picture of a cute little sporty bear. And then right here is the change table. We have a little doc or a doggy changing mat thing that I have wrapped around it because anyway, we have a changing mat right here. Um, we have a sports lamp that I always turn on, especially at night. It's the best because I don't want to have so much bright light up here. So it's nice to have a little lamp. We have some wipes right there, diaper uh, trash can. In here we have lots of different baby supplies, diapers are in here, jammies, socks, all of the shebang. You can kind of see there's jammies in there, socks, bibs, some onesies, hats, some suits. We love it. Blankets are in here. All of the goo. We love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, itchy nose. My nose is starting to tinkle a little. 
Oh, guys, I'm really nervous. I've been kind of sneezing a lot and having itchy noses. Not super itchy eyes, so I'm just hoping that I'm not getting allergies because I've never had allergies in Utah, but from what I've heard from a lot of people, you can get them in Texas. So I really, really hope I don't get allergies. Chase has allergies and it's the worst, so don't want them. Anyway, let's keep going. All right, next we have this little glider where I can rock him. I'm just obsessed with this glider. It is so comfy. It's the best to read stories to, feed him, everything. So I really, really um, am grateful for this chair. I really like it. And kind of fun too is this little bee rug. My goal was to have lots of bears, but also make it a little bit sporty, add some sports stuff to it. So kind of fun. Just like our Kobe bear. It had to be Kobe bear themed, huh? Yes. Okay. Next we have just a bunch of like de decorations of things. We have obviously our Kobe bear sports, fun little baby toys. I'm going to fill this with a picture of Acers, but I wanted to kind of wait for that. And we have a little sound machine, lots of books, a lot of little blocks, which is kind of fun, more books. I have lots of books that um, mean special things like The Little Prince. And this one's in French because I, I lived in France for 18 months and um, I just love French and I love the culture and so I kind of want to teach Ace a little bit of what I've learned from there because I love it so much. So I have a little bit of French things in here and then Chase also lived in Mexico for two years and he loves that culture as well and so um, I have some things also, um, cool to so this is our cute little shelf area. Another thing that I feel like really transformed the room was the wallpaper. It was a pain in the butt but I feel like it turned out so good. So I really, really like the wallpaper. Next part of the room that we have is, I'm gonna close this because it's a little bit too bright. These windows. We have these beautiful windows, which are so fun. This window is the main reason why I picked this as a nursery because I just love how pretty the window is and how much natural light comes into the room. Next, underneath this beautiful window, we have a little bit of a toy chest. There's toys under here and things that you can play with. There's things on top as well. There's a cute little merry-go-round sound little machine. Um, another little um, toy for Ace that he likes to play and it helps him practice sitting up, which is great. Some little cute toys and bears and some pillows. So this is kind of this little area. have this little area. So right here we have a bear that's playing soccer, which is for my dad because my dad loves soccer. If you guys know my family, dad is obsessed with soccer. So this is a bear that's attributed to my dad. And we have more little sports things, fun little toys and things that we've gotten. This is super fun. I got this little rocking horse. That's like an antique. Just kidding, it's not even an antique. It's from Amazon, but I think it's adorable and some Winnie the Pooh stories. Yeah, I feel like it turned out really cute. Next we have his little reading corner and here we just have a little bear playing basketball. Next we have more books right here. I love this book. My mom used to read this to me when I was little and I love reading it to Ace. We have a little Spanish book, a sea touch feel, more just books to read at night. And we have a puppy. Hi bear, hi bear. Um, we just have lots more books, a French one, Goodnight Mexico, which is really cute. I have a Goodnight Paris one right here. Lots of fun little books and things. This is a book that Chase was um, read to at night all the time and that's a fun one to read to Ace as well. Yeah, we have lots of really fun, cute little books around here. It's the best. You guys wanna see something kinda funny? I'm gonna show you. So, oh, can you see that? All right, guys. So, oh, hi Bear. When I read stories to Ace, Kobe Bear, my dog, loves also getting into my lap and reading the stories with us. And there's a book he, does, he despises, but I'm gonna show you guys, it's so funny. 
It's called Noisy Baby Animals. You guys ready for this? It makes noises. Let's see which one. Let's do... We'll do this. We're gonna do the puppy. You ready? Come right here. You guys ready for this? Did you see? That is a puppy right there. <gasps> he usually barks. Let's see if he does it. Oh. What other one can we do? <gasps> what was that? What was that? Should we do another one? <gasps> Nothing? Okay, usually he goes crazy and barks at them, but I guess he's being chill because Acer's is asleep and he doesn't want to wake the baby. Huh, that, that is a good big brother right there. Anyway, usually he doesn't like his book, but he, I guess he's been fine now. Sad day. But one day I'll catch it on film for you guys. Next, and last but not least, we have this corner. Oh, we have the closet, which is basically just Ace's clothes and shoes up here. Then I have a stroller down below like to store because I hate storing it in the garage because I feel like there's lots of spiders in the garage and I don't want spiders on the stroller because I don't want them to get onto my baby and hurt him. So anyway, that's kind of what's in the closet right now. We have another little chair. Uh, it's a little swing chair that like goes back and forth, which is great. Ace is starting to kind of not love it as much. I feel like he's a lot more, um, likes to be more active, but this was great for when he was younger. And then last but not least, we have the bed which obviously I take this out when Ace will go to sleep. He doesn't sleep in this bed yet. He still sleeps in the bassinet, but we're starting to, we're gonna try to move him to the crib. Guys, sleep training terrified me. I've been trying to do it for the past two days and it's really hard. So if you guys have any tips with sleep training, please let me know because we need help. Anyway, so, and I really would, I, it's gonna be hard because I don't want him to leave our room, but also we need to start helping him to self-soothe and getting a better night's sleep. So please help me with tips with that. Anyway, then we have another little bear playing basketball and a bear that is going to school or something. And this is the cute bed. I love because it has like these really cute or sweet, they have these really neat little accent, I guess you could say, for the crib, which is fun. Ace really likes this. We used to put this in the car. I have another thing for the car now, and so it just plays music. It has a little bit of light, so when Ace is sleeping, we can kind of have something on. Yeah, this is the little bed area right here. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you have any tips for sleep training, please let me know. I love you all. I'll see you later. Bye.